Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you guys a tutorial on how to root your Samsung Galaxy S4 running KitKat 4.4.4 from AT&T. Now I suggest for you to check my description below so you can know the baseband number and your model number from your Galaxy to make so that this method works for you. So to make this on download mode, we're going to press the home button, the power button, and the volume down at the same time. So we press it. Okay, when it shows this screen, we're going to press the volume up button. After this, just plug the USB cable on your PC and your phone. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and open the Odin software. After we put the cell phone on download mode, we're going to plug it to the USB like I told you. And you're going to wait until your name of the phone appears here. It's actually your phone. After it recognizes your phone, you're going to check here the app button. Press it. And you're going to look for the stock kernel of NC1. Make sure that this is the one you're looking for. Double click it. Okay, after it recognizes it here, we're gonna press start. Okay, after this is done, it's gonna reboot your phone. So after your phone reboots, we're going to go to the browser and look for Towel Root. We're going to go to Towel Root, TowelRoot.com. Download the software. Okay, then we go to Settings. And you have to check the box where it says no unknown sources so it can install this the towel root install it okay you can install anyway open it and you're gonna press make it rain Okay, it says thank you for using your tower root. You should have root, no reboot required. So we get out of here and we go to the app store and down. Oh, sorry, Let's accept. To this, we go to Super SU. Install it. We open it. Continue. We press normal. So after it's done, this is gonna pop out and you're gonna put OK. Okay, after that's done, we wanna go back to the Play Store and download Root Checker. So you're gonna go ahead and open it. Here it's gonna add, say verify root. You're gonna press it and you're gonna press okay and after that it will say congratulations this device has root access as you can see the firmware that I'm using and the number of my Samsung so after that's done we're gonna put it again on download mode and go back to the computer all right so we're back on the other software as you can see it found the phone again once again we go to the app And this time we're going to pick NG4 stock kernel. Double click it. Wait until it finds it. Okay, as you can see, it's right here. And we press start again. Mm. 
Okay, so I rebooted the phone once again. All right, so that's about it. I really hope it worked for you guys. If after you do everything, for some reason your Samsung starts to be really slow, just turn it off completely, then turn it back on, and it should start running like a charm. So remember to comment and subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned for more.